Well, we're going to take that closer look now. We're on the first floor of the John C. Hobalt exhibit, The Soaring Achievements of John C. Hobalt. This panel introduces visitors to the story of Joliet's native son. His vision, persistence, fairness, and reason led Time Magazine to refer to John Hobalt as the unsung hero of the U.S. space program and Apollo 11. The moon landing is highlighted as a prime example of man's quest for new horizons, that we must acknowledge the human need to explore and discover. The Hobalt family story begins with the immigration of John Hobalt Sr. and Henrika to Iowa, USA, from Zetten, Netherlands. They marry and have four children and eventually settle in the Joliet area. Visitors will have the opportunity to use this touchscreen to hear interviews with members of the Hobalt family. This area highlights John's early interest in planes and flight. As the stories are told, you learn that John was always involved in building planes and eventually won model airplane competitions. The stories include his attempted flight when he jumped from a hayloft with an umbrella and his glider built by attaching wings to a baby carriage. As John matures, he attends Julia Township High School in an engineering curriculum. In time, he becomes a pilot with a multiple engine rating. After graduation from Julia Township High School in 1936, John continues his education at Joliet Junior College and earns a Rotary Club scholarship of $200 per year to attend the University of Illinois. While at the U of I, he earns his B.S. in 1940 and M.S. in Civil Engineering in 1942. In 1956-57, John earns his Ph.D. from ETH Zurich, but continues his education through other institutions through 1963. This panel exposes the visitor to John's self-study of the fundamentals of space navigation, as well as the development of the Lunar Orbit Rendezvous and Lunar Excursion Module. This display summarizes and captures the stories of the Cold War and space race between the USA and the Soviet Union. These years produce a world culture of fear and anxiety, blended with a fierce competition and fascination in the field of science. In this area, visitors will be able to study the competing approaches to a lunar landing, direct ascent, Earth orbit rendezvous, and lunar orbit rendezvous. Hobalt was challenged about the LOR, but met the challenges with lectures, presentations, proof, and perseverance. John Hobalt would have been recognized nationally for his contributions in Life magazine, but at NASA's request, the cover of the magazine was redesigned to exclude Hobalt. He is eventually referred to as an unsung hero of the U.S. space program in Time magazine. The city of Joliet honors John for his contributions with ceremonies and a parade in September of 1969. Well, we're on the second floor of the exhibit now, and we're looking at why a moon mission. The entry panel reflects what is probably the most famous photo from the moon, that of astronaut Buzz Aldrin. The space race was an expression of the Cold War, and the competition was fierce between the United States and Communist Russia. NACA eventually became NASA, the National Aeronautic and Space Administration. NASA created successive space programs named Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. Each was a building block to achieving the goal of landing on the moon. The historic mission to the moon began on July 16, 1969. The launch was viewed live by tens of thousands of people. John Hobalt was invited to attend the launch at Cape Kennedy. The shockwave from the launch could be felt for miles around. These six panels tell the chapters of the journey to the moon and John Hobalt's contributions. On July 19, 1969, the spacecraft Columbia entered lunar orbit and on July 20th, the LEM lands safely on the moon. In this area, visitors hear four recordings identifying the first words spoken upon landing. 
the first words spoken as the first astronaut sets foot on the moon, the words of farewell and departure, and the poetic feelings expressed by many of the astronauts. These six panels tell the chapters of the journey home after the successful lunar landing. The splashdown on July 24, 1969 is followed by a national celebration of its heroes, as well as a celebration of Joliet's own hero, John Hobart. These panels tell the stories of lunar exploration and experiments and the vision for future space exploration. A kiosk provides visitors with information regarding the impact of space exploration on the daily lives of people throughout the world. Dreams can be realized. The dreams of many came true on July 20th, 1969. Most notably, the champion of a key dreamer, John C. Hobart. John Hobart's story personifies the idea that if you have a vision, work hard, and meet the obstacles head on, your dreams will come true.